welcome back to the third video in the series of the videos we are discussing on rational number it's quite a cold morning today and let's start this lecture with a cup of coffee so now on rational numbers the next topic is to discuss the basic mathematical operations on rational number to start with it is an addition so let's take up an example draw a number line and try to solve that example on the number line so the example is minus 4 by 7 plus 5 by 7 so let's first put the numbers on the left hand side we have the negative rational numbers so minus 1 by 7 2 by 7 minus 3 by 7 minus 4 by 7 on the right hand side of the 0 we have the positive rational numbers so we'll put 1 by 7 2 by 7 3 by 7 and 4 by 7 we have to add 5 by 7 to minus 4 by 7 now a minus 4 by 7 is here to add something positive to it the rule is we move towards the right hand side so we add 1 2 by 7 then this becomes 3 by 7 this becomes 4 by 7 and we jump here to get or we jumped 5 by 7 complete 5 by 7 and the answer we get here is 1 by 7 now let's do this in the way we have done for the fractions if the denominator is common keep the denominator as it is and we just add up the numerators so this gives us more quicker in a more easier manner 5 minus 4 is 1 by 7 that we have write through the rule what we had applied for the fractions the same rule we are applying here for the rational numbers the denominator is same we just go up and add the numerators now let's take one more example the next example is let's add 3 by 7 minus 5 by 7 I'm not in love with 5 let's make it here 6 to give a small change so here we have a minus 6 by 7 to be added with 3 by 7 so we have here 3 by 7 now the rule is if you have a negative number to be added to any positive integer what do we do is we jump on the left hand side so we jump here 1 2 3 so we have already jumped minus 3 by 7 4 5 and 6 so if I have so the answer which we have got to the number line is minus 3 by 7 what I have done is to 3 by 7 I have jumped one one step of minus 1 by 7 that is I have jumped 1 by 7 in the left hand side to get the answer as minus 3 by 7 now let's check that the same thing can be achieved through the method of simplified method of fraction 3 minus 6 here we get minus 3 and yes the answer is the same minus 3 by 7 so the rule here is very simple if you want to add two rational numbers with the denominator as same just add up the numerators and you will get the answer so let's take the third example in the same form 
we have here minus 2 by 8 plus 6 by 8 so it comes to 8 in the denominator and here minus 2 plus 6 so that gives me 4 by 8 and the reduced form of 4 by 8 is 1 by 2. So this was how do we add the rational numbers with the help of a number line and directly with the coefficient, uh, directly with the fraction method. Let's go to the next example. The next example here is, let's say, if the denominators are same, we just add up the numerator, but what if the denominators are different? Let's take an example here that I have minus 7 by 5. I have to add that with minus 2 by 3. How do I do that? So, in the fractions, we have already learned that in this kind of scenarios, if we have to add these two, we have to find the least common multiples of the denominator. So, the least common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. And we have to convert the number into such a manner that the denominators are least common multiple. So, here we have 15. So, minus 7 by 5 into 3 by 3 gives me And the same thing if I have to do here minus 2 by 3 into 5 by 5. This 5 by 5 is 1. So I'm actually just getting an equivalent form of the rational number minus 10 by 15. Now if I have to add minus 7 by 5 plus minus 2 by 3, it is I have to add minus 21 by 15 plus minus 10 by 15. Now, when I have the denominator same, I'm back to the previous situation where I just add up the numerators. So it is, which gives me minus 31 by 15. So this is how we go on, uh, we go on doing the addition if the denominators are different. Let's take one more example, minus 10 by 15 plus 6 by 3. Now if you see, I can directly first reduce this into a common number, so I can I'll have, I'll have here 2 by 3, I'm just dividing it by 5 here in the numerator and denominator. And this will give me 6 by 3 will let's keep it 6 by 3 because anyway we have to add the we have to keep the denominators same so this gives me 3 minus 2 plus 6 that is 4 by 3 so this is how we do an addition if have a denominator different and in the previous section, we learned how to do with the, uh, when the denominators are same. Let's take one more example here. If I have here minus 4 by 7, and here I have plus 4 by 7. So you would say, oh, this is quite simple. I will here have minus 4 plus 4 by 7. And the answer would be 0 by 7, or it's 0. Why I have taken this example is not for the addition but to show here that when I add minus 4 by 7 plus 4 by 7 I get an answer of 0. To recall what we have learned for the integers that if I have a minus 2 and a plus 2 and if I get 0 by adding minus 2 and plus 2 we call them as additive inverse for integers. The same rule applies here. Minus 4 by 7 and 4 by 7 will become additive inverse rational numbers. The same rule applies even if I convert this into 12 by 21, just multiplying it by 4 into 3, 7 into 3, so that 
it's again a different rational number altogether and 4 by 7. Still, if I add them, minus 12 by 21 plus 4 by 7, so again I can reduce into 4 by 7 and 4 by 7 and they become the additive inverse. This is just to emphasize that even if they are not in the standard form, still they become an additive inverse of each other. So this is for today's topic. In the next topic, we would be talking more about rational numbers with a different operation like multiplication. Thank you.